and buy you a drink? Yeah, I'd love one. Sit down. I'm Gary. I'm Celeste. It takes forever to get a drink around here. There's only one bar. mattress. Oh, don't go. Those guys body. Oh, they're fine. I mean, you just got here. Can you help yourself. You like bourbon? I love it. We got that out of the way. Tell me, Celeste, what do you do for a living? Eh, I'm a sales rep. And I came here to call on a customer, but uh, they gave me a hard time because I'm a girl. Is that how you think of yourself? As a sales rep? As a girl. Yeah, I don't have a problem with it. I like your hair. I like your outfit. But actually, this is my second favorite outfit. I had a first favorite, but it got ruined and oh. I had to get rid of it. You did? It smelled. Really? Having it clean didn't help? No. <laughs> so tell me, Gary, what do you do for how a living? How far do you want to go with this? <sighs> Not yet. Don't say anything yet. I don't think it works for somebody else. You know, Gary and Celeste, what do they know about anything? Well, this is your game I've never played before. It's not a game. It's not something you play. Well, does this make any sense to you? It doesn't have to. It's something that happens. It's like seeing someone for the first time. Like, you could be passing on the street, and, and you look at each other, and for a few seconds, there's this kind of a, a recognition. Like, you both know something. The next moment, the person is gone. And, and it's too late to do anything about it. And you always remember it because it was there and you let it go and you think to yourself, what if I had stopped? What if I had said something? What if? What if? It may only happen a few times in your life. 